What's up, Leo? How's it going? I hope everybody's having a great day. This is going to be a timeless love reading. So when you feel drawn to the title, to the picture, you feel like it's resonating with your life, do take what resonates, never force anything to fit. Um, and then watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for the additional clarity. It's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you, but there will be very similar messages within all placements. Um, and then there's going to be other messages within those readings that you feel driven towards. So let's get right into your reading. For those of you that are new, my name is Sam, and I welcome you, and I'm so grateful that you've stumbled upon my channel. I'm giving away three free love readings for the month of January. You need to be a subscriber to take part in that, so go ahead and, you know, go ahead and subscribe and leave a heart emoji in the comment section. At the end of each month, I remind those that participated to be checking their notifications because three people will be hearing from me. And then I will announce February's giveaway, which will also be about love readings that I'm giving away. It's Valentine's Day, so why not? All right, let's get into it, Leo. All right. For my amazing, lovely Leos, what message do you have for what is coming towards Leo in terms of love? What is coming towards Leo in terms of love? Healing. Could be from a specific loss of someone special. But just healing in general. Really focusing on yourself. Spirit saying be gentle with yourself. Be patient with yourself and allow your that time. But I do feel you're bouncing back and you know you're building up that confidence again ego someone that was very they act with like out of their pride in their own vanity someone who was afraid to let their guard down spirit saying to do things that you love for those of you healing and spending some time with just yourself. Um, even you may feel that you've been through the healing cycle. Do what you love to do. Spend time with those around you who are nurturing always with you. But do what you love to do. Do what makes you feel the happiest. Some of you could be very creative. You know, an artist or you write poetry. Maybe even write novels or there's something that you're really good at that makes you extremely happy. Maybe you just love the gym and you love to be at the gym all the time. Do what makes you feel whole. Yeah, there was somebody who was unawakened here. Unawakened to what you were about. I really feel like their, their focus was on themselves. And that's not such a bad thing. But when it goes against how they're treating you, you know, it becomes a not so pleasant thing. You know what I mean? It's also it could be somebody that you were dealing with that was like an artist on their own. And it could be anything like horseback riding. Um, just something that like they, they just love to do and they, they were good at. All right, let's get into it. All right, Leo. Spirit, Leo's energy currently around love and relationship. Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning starting and you're ready for it. I feel like there's someone coming towards you that you're very attracted to. No matter what the situation is currently in your life, the healing, the focusing on yourself. You're ready for a passionate new breakthrough. The energy of the person coming towards Leo's spirit. I do feel like it's coming in quick too. Someone who's taking their time. They've got some sadness and some lack of direction in their life. They may not be happy with where they're at in terms of work and finances. But there is a sadness that is within them. Yes. 
Earth energy showing up. Please clarify the Five of Pentacles, the person coming towards Leo. The Five of Pentacles spirit. They're going to view you as a wish fulfillment. So we have Earth energy here, and now we have Aquarius and Libra. So we have air energy. This person is coming in. When they approach you, they're going to be very fair. They've got a balance within them. Like I said, they've spent some time um, in a sadness. They're healing, you know. They've dealt with things of not being on the same page as someone else in their life. Lack of confidence, feeling they, they didn't have long-term or something substantial to offer the people that they were dealing with. But they're, they're coming in balance and they're coming in viewing you as a wish granted. What is going to be the overall outcome between Leo and this person? The world, brand new chapter beginning. Communication coming in. It may be through social media. Um, it's possibly through like a dating app. Maybe like a Zoom class for a business. Um, you find someone intriguing through TikTok and you write to them. But I do have the page of swords. So I feel like I, I there might even be somebody who's got their eye on you through social media. Leo. But a brand new chapter in communication coming in. Please clarify the world. Leo, it may be somebody that you've walked away from. Somebody that there's already distance here between you and this person. I do. I feel someone that you were dealing with that was in some form of darkness in themselves. shuffle coming in very romantic for you yeah there is someone here that's got very strong feelings for you Leo I do feel like there's silence right now but yeah they definitely I'm going to say they love you Leo See what I mean? I feel like it's two people, you and this person, you're ready for a breakthrough with them. You're possibly desiring this. But it's two people, like really have not moved on from, so who have you not moved on from, Leo? Or who have you tried to move on from and it hasn't been successful? I feel, Leo, that you know that there's a deeper bond here and you were dealing with this person who was unawakened. And like I said, I use the word darkness. They were just within their own darkness. Things that have held them back. Drama that they've lived through in their life. And it's possibly they, they took the, you know, they took the, should I say, low road? And they ran away from this connection. You felt something deeper for them. But like I said, I feel like they've evolved. They're coming in balanced. They may not have been happy with where their finances were and they wanted to focus on themselves in the time in you know you just met them at a time where obviously things don't happen by coincidence so it wasn't a coincidence that you ran into each other but they've never been able to get over you
Yeah. There was things in the past that have that they've experienced that was hard for them to heal from. In this time frame of separation from you, they they've done a lot of healing. I feel like it's been a true journey within themselves, figuring out what they love to do, letting go of the things that are not important. You might have met this person; they were very stylish, had all the like highest name brands. Um, Look like they had their life together, but deep down they did not. Deep down they were broken. And they're coming out of that stalemate type energy. I've got autumn here as a card of timing. Yeah, they're coming in very responsible, grounded, and structured within their own life. Now they've got long term to offer you. You're definitely going to hear from them, Leah. Let's see what else we can get to bring clarity. They want something stable with you. You've got the Ace of Earth. Yeah, see? They were not okay where they were financially. And maybe you aren't. But I, see, I feel a lot of growth here. Yeah, now they're looking for family. They're looking for long-term. It's possible they were leaving like a divorce or a long-term commitment and they had to figure out their own stability and support for themselves. Especially if it was a divorce where children and child and like custody, you know, but they found... And you might have met this person and they were leaving a situation... And you're like, you know what? I can't wait around for this. Yes, I care for you. Yes, I love you. I feel something deep with you. But you've got to figure out your own drama because this is exactly what came out. Finances, family, and should I stay or should I go? So you decided to let it be. Let things unfold naturally. You know your worth. You weren't waiting around for this. I feel like this person had too much on their plate. But I truly feel that they never, their thoughts have always been with you and what could be. All right, spirit, final. All right, we'll take both. Look at this. Where it was denial, this flipped over in reverse. Where they were unawakened, they're now awakened. I love that. Oh, they might have had a cat or you might have had a cat. Cat lady. Prolonged single status. That, I, that might even, you know, that could be both your energies at this point, depending on how much time you've spent apart. I feel it's right now your energy is aligning with this person's energy. Remember I said fall. So if you see this, as I posted, obviously winter for the northern hemisphere, summer for the southern hemisphere, fall, getting ready to harvest, right, final messages for my Leos. All right, we've got free will, taking a leap of faith, soaring in to your energy again, Leo. And they're, they're leaving behind their past, coming in very independent, not holding back any longer. <clears throat> they had all these things. And, and let's be honest, Leo, there's probably some of you that needed to heal. There are some of you that still had cracks that needed mending. And rebuilding. Mending and rebuilding. That's what they want to do with you. They want to mend this connection. They want to rebuild. But rebuild it stronger. Sturdier. Long-term support. 
for one another. And what gets me is I really feel multiple times they've went to send you messages and they left it unsent, deleted them, you know, went back and cleared the text message out. Multiple times they wanted to reach out. Let's see what the what the message is. I really want to tell you how I feel, but it's too is it too late? Will you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Or will you misinterpret my messages? I guess I'd rather not say anything at all. This person has really been, not that I want you to make light of the situation for them, but they've really been in their head about what they're going to say to you, when they're going to say it. And where they, the gate was closed and your energies were not aligning. It's time for second chances with this person. They want to mend and rebuild with you. All right. So I guess it's safe to say that they're awakened now. We've got P, L, F, T, E, I, V, R, D, A. All right, do take what resonates. They might have like repeating um, letters in their name because P wanted to fly out twice, D, T tried to fly out twice. So take what resonates. I do have a couple repeats. Leave that heart emoji if you would like to, to take part in the giveaway. Anytime you want me to tune in, to just your energy. I know I've been receiving a few messages to restock my shop, um, my Etsy shop. So my sh my readings are restocked. There are a couple discounted right now in time for the um, Valentine's Day. So there's a couple love readings that are at a discount right now that you can take advantage of. Link is in the description box. All right. I love you, Leos. You know that. And I will be back soon.